Good morning everyone. In today's video we are going from Grazalema to Malaga because we are going to try to find Hemorrhoids Hippocrepis and Camellio Chameleon. I personally love comedians so I've been looking forward to this moment for quite a while now and I'm super excited that I finally have the chance to look for some wild ones. Let's get started. So we just arrived at Malaga and the plan for today is to try to find a new species of snake. Um, hopefully we'll see Hemorrhoids Hippocrepis, which is the most common one around here. But there's a chance we see Zamensa scalaris and probably some other reptiles I don't know yet. Um, we'll see what we find. Um, but yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. The hotel is very nice. And there's a tree with these beautiful birds next to our uh, hotel. So it's quite nice to see. Uh, we're close to sea. So the plan for today is to find those snakes. And in the evening we'll try to find some comedians. Uh, it is a bit windy so um, it's still a question whether or not uh, we'll find them. But we'll see and we'll try our best. So we already have the first herb of the trip in Malaga. This is a Tarantola Mauritanica. And this is the biggest one we found so far in Spain. He was very angry with me uh, earlier, but now he is cooled down. So I'm gonna set him back. Just take a picture real quick and continue our journey. So this is my first time in Spain and I haven't been much outside of the Netherlands except for Germany. So this cactus is probably normal for a lot of people but to me this is an incredible plant. The same counts for mountains touching the sea. I'm super happy I've had so many new experiences on this trip. So we are on our way to a new spot. Um, we have been to two spots but they were closed. So hopefully the next one is open, but we don't know yet. It's a 45 minute walk, so I really hope it isn't closed. But we'll see, and if it is, uh, we're in trouble. Talking about new experiences, the thorns on this tree were bigger than my hand, which surprised me a lot. So we have been walking for hours now and we finally found something. This is a Blanus cinereus and this is probably a different species genetically uh, than the ones in Grazalema. So it is maybe a new species but it's nice to see a reptile after a long time of flipping rocks and walking around for nothing. So this isn't Cinnarus like I said in the video, but this is probably a new species called Vandelli, which makes him a bit more special. Here is another Morris Gecko, and we were finding a decent amount of these guys. I don't know if it's just me, but they look way better in this area than they looked in Grazalema. We finally arrived at our last spot. And I just want to show you guys what it looks like where we were herping. I hope it gives you a better idea of the animals in their natural habitat. While I'm showing you the view, please leave a like if you're enjoying this video. You can also check out my other videos of this trip where I'm herping in Grazalema. It is definitely worth checking out because we found some amazing animals. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on part 6 and other really cool upcoming videos. Now back to the video. Although I was looking for reptiles and amphibians, I can't help to show you guys arachnids and insects from time to time. I mean look at this guy, I just had to show him. I also found this crazy turkey just flipping himself around. After two jumps, he disappeared and I couldn't find him anymore. So we have been uh, walking for hours now, 
I think two or three without any luck. And we're trying to find the Hemorrhois Hippocrepis. Uh, we already have one of three target species, which was the Blanus, because it's different here than in Grazalemma. Uh, but we don't have any luck yet. I don't think that we're gonna find one actually today. Um, but soon it will get darker and I'll try to see if I can find a chameleon which is the species that I wanted to see here in Spain. So tonight we're gonna try um, for the first time to see if we can catch it. Um, I've heard that they are very common here so there's a good chance that we will find one. Uh, the weathers are really good so uh, I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you when we find something. We arrived at this really cool looking place. Everything was covered in gravity and there was a random bridge. This gives this place almost a sort of magical and fantasy like vibe. We don't know what this is, but it looks like it was used to practice some kind of sports. Also, don't do what I'm doing here. I thought it would be a great idea to climb the stairs of a building that collapsed. When I reached the top I discovered that the entire roof fell down against the stairs, which means that this could collapse at any second. Although this wasn't very safe, I have to admit that this was a breathtaking view. We also found this little guy just wandering around and I have never seen something like this. This beetle is just beautiful. Finally after searching for a very very long time we have our first Malaga snake. This is another Macoprotodon brevis. Um, but it's still nice to see that we are actually at the right spot and that there isn't um, uh, nothing. So it's a good sign that there are snakes around here. Uh, this one we have seen the most so far this trip, but I'm very excited to see that we're on the right track. And this one looks pretty good. He has uh, a nice pattern and it's a uh, decent sized. So first snake. I don't know what it is with geckos in Malaga, but for some reason they have amazing patterns and a very good size, which makes them a really nice find. We are finally starting to catch some reptiles. Here I have another Hemidactylus turquesis. This one is very, very small and it's trying to hide right now, but it's starting to heat up. So I'm very curious to see what else we will find. After seeing more random cool looking things like this outdoor pool, I found two blanuses and then the sun set, which means that it was finally time to look for comedians. Look guys, I finally found what I was looking for. This is Camellio chameleon and this is the common chameleon here in Europe and it's the only one. I wanted to see this so bad, this one. I have one chameleon at home as some of you might know but that's a yemen chameleon and this is my first wild chameleon now i am so happy look at those colors he is all brightened up and all these spots i'm just i'm super excited to finally see a chameleon in the wild and this is a smaller one but i already saw another one in the trees with uh, which i will film in a minute but look at him he is such an adorable little guy 
and he is as you can see super super slow it's getting colder out here so um, he is probably not gonna run off but oh my god look at him he is such an adorable little guy he has amazing spots in a bright green color this is absolutely stunning I just caught the other one out of the three and this is a adult uh, chameleon and as you can see the color difference is just amazing this one is almost black and white and this one is very very bright green with light stripes and spots on him and this is just amazing uh, this is the species I came here for this is the species why I wanted to go to Malaga and to actually see him in the wild as an adult and as a tiny little baby is just absolutely amazing to me and I am super super excited to finally see these guys in the wild. So we have been catching a few comedians now and I have some nice footage of them which I am super happy with. I really wanted to see these guys and to see them in so many different colors and sizes is just insane to me. We have found another one. This one was very green at first. but. As soon as we caught it, it changed color to this gray and white uh, pattern. And this is an absolutely amazing species. I'm super happy that we could find these animals tonight. I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen because of the wind that has been going on lately. But I'm super stoked to finally catch these guys in the wild and look at them and take some pictures of them. And this one is the biggest one we've caught yet. He's making himself bigger now, as you can see. And it is an amazing, amazing little reptile, which I'm super stoked about and very happy that I, and I had the chance to see this one in the wild. This day has been one of the coolest I have ever had. Seeing my first wild comedians is something I'll never forget. Please subscribe if you want to see what happens in part 6. I'll give you a hint. The animals weren't very happy with me that day. Thank you for watching this video and geeks out. Mm -hmm.